Hey guys, uh, well we're finally getting some rain here in Arkansas and uh, so it's kind of giving me a day to uh, relax a little bit but uh, the Shindal has been kind of messing up on me a little bit it's been acting kind of funny, bogging down and uh, so I've decided I'm going to try to uh, change out the carburetor so I'm going to do a little video on me trying to do this something I've never done before this will be completely new um, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try to film most of it. Uh, I had watched some other videos on YouTube and they all talked about the uh, spark restorator or something like that. Might be clogged. I've already tried that. Uh, it still didn't fix anything. So I decided to change out the uh, carb. See if maybe that will help. So let's see if we can get some of this filmed. So I'm just going to start by uh, taking off the uh, filter here and uh, I went today and tried to get a new one but they didn't have the right one so let's see here I think it's right here so I'm just there's a uh, there's two screws in here I'm just going to back these out and it looks like that's probably what's going to uh, release this carb. So it looks like it might be actually pretty easy to take apart. So I'm going to leave those screws in there. As you can see, if I took the screws out, this whole piece will come apart. So I'm just going to kind of leave that all together. And uh, the carburetor, I got it off of, uh, of eBay. So it's kind of an aftermarket. But it looks, you know, it looks identical. Yeah, so the carb's already released. So that was actually really easy and, uh, I, mean, I don't know much about all this stuff but it looks I mean it looks pretty good it doesn't look like there's any issues with it uh, gotta figure out how to get that out of there hmm. looks like you just kinda Yep, and then it lifts right out. Uh, I got a pair of pliers here. So I use a wrench. So, let's see what size this is. Must be metric. Switch to my metric wrenches here. So let's go to this one. Get here in a second. There it is. So I'm just releasing that from that little a little plastic piece. I don't know if you saw that, but that fits right in there like so. I just released it. And it looks like I'm gonna need a pair of maybe. Nope. It come off really easily. Well, the first one did. And make sure I don't tear up the hoses. So I'm just uh, pulling these hoses off these little nipples that are on the bottom of the carb.
Turn that to damage the carburetor or the or the hose. So there we go. Got the carb off. It's actually really easy to get off of there. So clean my hands up a little bit here. And I'm just gonna reverse the process. Make sure to put the hoses back on the same sides. I'm trying to make sure that I'm not getting any kind of dirt or grime down into the new carb. Tighten it up a little bit. So, pull that into place. Drop that cable down in there. Hmm. A bit wider. Oh, that's the same size. Oh, I see. So there's a little metal piece down in there, and it's got to be turned the right way for that little end to pop on. I know you probably can't see it, and it just drops in there. Like so. two cables back down and through or bolts back down and through that should bolt right back in and that was actually pretty simple I'm, I'm kind of surprised I really expected it to be a little more difficult to do so if I uh, Gas in. I'm just uh, just pumping the little bubble, trying to see if we can get some gas flowing. See if it's got any gas in it. Yeah, we got gas. There we go. We got gas in the bubble now. And we'll turn the choke on, switches on. Oh, like it started up pretty easy um, it was pretty easy to change the uh, carb out there really wasn't nothing to it two bolts and pulling some hoses and that was it but uh, still kind of sounded like it was bogging down a little bit uh, it was a cold start it hasn't been started since yesterday so that may be some of it um, I'll try it out for a couple days see if it uh, see if it works better a lot of times the the first yard is working really good and then the second yard it uh, is really whenever it starts bogging down and I start having problems with it so if uh, y'all have any ideas and or have any clue why it's doing what it's doing uh, leave it in the comment section let me know uh, if you know how to fix it just 
help me out. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll uh, try to keep the videos coming. Thanks.